Types of Losses in a Transformer There are various types of losses in the transformer, such as, iron loss, copper loss, hysteresis loss, eddy current loss, stray loss, and dielectric loss. Hysteresis losses occur, because of the variation of the magnetization, in the core of the transformer, and, the copper loss occurs, because of the transformer winding resistance. Types of Losses in the Transformer Iron losses. Iron losses are caused by the alternating flux in the core of the transformer. As this loss occurs in the core, it is also known as core loss. Iron loss is further divided into hysteresis and eddy current loss. Hysteresis loss. The core of the transformer is subjected to an alternating magnetizing force, and for each cycle of EMF, a hysteresis loop is traced out. Power is dissipated in the form of heat, known as hysteresis loss, and given by the equation shown below. Where, k is a proportionality constant, which depends upon the volume, and quality of the material of the core, used in the transformer. F, is the supply frequency. B max, is the maximum, or peak value of the flux density. The iron, or core losses can be minimized, by using silicon steel material, for the construction of the core of the transformer. Eddy current loss. When, the flux, links with a closed circuit, an EMF, is induced in the circuit, and the current flows, the value of the current, depends upon the amount of EMF, around the circuit, and the resistance of the circuit. Since, the core is made of conducting material, these EMFs circulate currents, within the body of the material. These circulating currents are called, eddy currents. They will occur, when the conductor experiences a changing magnetic field. As these currents are not responsible, for doing any useful work, and it produces a loss, I square, R. Loss, in the magnetic material, known as an eddy current loss. The eddy current loss, is minimized by making the core, with thin laminations. The equation of the eddy current loss, is given as, where, Ke, is a coefficient of eddy current. Its value depends upon the nature of magnetic material, like volume, and resistivity of core material, the thickness of laminations. Bm, is maximum value of flux density in Wb, per meter, square. T, is thickness of lamination, in meters. F, is frequency of reversal of the magnetic field, in hertz. V, is the volume of magnetic material, in meter cube. Copper loss, or ohmic loss. These losses occur, due to ohmic resistance of the transformer windings. If, I1, and I2, are the primary, and the secondary current, I1, and R2, are the resistance of primary and secondary winding, then the copper losses occurring in the primary and secondary winding, will be I1 square, into I1, and I2 square, into R2, respectively. Therefore, the total copper losses will be. These losses varied according to the load, and known, hence, it is also known as variable losses. Copper losses vary as, the square of the load current. Stray loss. The occurrence of these stray losses, is due to, the presence of leakage field. The percentage of these losses are very small, as compared to the iron and copper losses, so they can be neglected. Dielectric loss. Dielectric loss occurs, in the insulating material of the transformer, that is in the oil of the transformer or in the solid insulations. When, the oil gets deteriorated, or the solid insulation gets damaged, or its quality decreases, the efficiency of the transformer gets affected. Efficiency of Transformer Transformer's efficiency, directly affects its performance, and aging. The transformer's efficiency, in general, is in the range of, 95-99%. to 99%. For large power transformers, with very low losses, the efficiency can be as high as, 99.7%.
the efficiency of transformer is simply given as eta equals output power divided by output power plus losses multiplied by 100% for hysteresis loss pH equals k h into b max to the power of 1.6 into f into v for eddy current loss p e equals k e into b m square into t square into f square into v